In this lesson, we're going to continue our study of multiplication, and we'll be finding the GCF, or greatest common factor, and this is part two, and we'll be using the prime factorization method. This is standard 6 NSB4. We'll be looking at this worksheet, and you can go to worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com and print out a copy for yourself. You'll find it under our multiplication section, and it is entitled Finding the GCF Part 2 Prime Factorization. And here are the directions. Find the greatest common factor using prime factorization. We have four different problems. Let's take a look at the first one. The first one, we have 9 and 27. So the first thing we're going to do is rewrite these numbers. Again, we have 9 and we have 27. And think to yourself, well, what two numbers can I multiply together that will equal 9? Well, right off the bat, you might be thinking you can multiply 3 times 3, and that would equal 9. And the key to prime factorization is you really stop the process when your factors here are prime numbers. And in this case, both 3 and 3 the same factor multiplied by itself, they're both prime number. It's a prime number, meaning the only factors of 3 are 1 and 3. So that makes sense. We'll stop right there. Now we'll go on to the second number. We've got 27. And we'll pick two numbers that we can multiply together. Two factors of 27 are 3 and let's say 9, because 3 times 9 equals 27. And then we look, okay, are we multiplying two prime numbers? Well, I know 3 is a prime number, however, 9 is not. So 9, you can break down even further, and you're probably thinking 3 times 3 equals 9, just like we did over here. Well, you'd be exactly correct. And then we just bring this other 3 right down. So it kind of looks like a a factor tree or it's a, a prime factor tree because at the base you just have prime numbers as maybe presence under this factor tree and there they are so at this point you can think to yourself well let's compare the prime factors of 9 and 27 well I've got a match of 1 3 matching up with the 3 over here okay so we've got a 3 that is common between these two, a pr prime factor that's common. And then let's take a look to see if we can find a match for this 3. And over here, sure enough, we have another match. And we won't worry about this uh, prime factor under 27 because it does not have a match over here with the 9. So we'll just write down the 2 we, that we do have. Again, we match this 3 with the 3 over here. And once again, this 3 another 3 under 27. So then you can multiply these two together. 3 times 3. And you're probably thinking that's 9 and you can correct again. It is 9. And you can stop right there. And you'd find that 9 is indeed your greatest common factor. So let's write that down. Let's use a different color. So in this case your G C F equals 9. So that was question 1. We'll move on to question 2. And your numbers that we're working with are 6 and 42. So we'll go ahead and write these down. We've got 6. 42 is the other one. If I'm moving too quickly for you, feel free to pause the video. Or if you want to try these by yourself, pause the video and then, then check your work. Here we go. So you can pick any two factors. I mean, really, I mean, you could start with 1 and 6, because I mean, those are definitely two factors, two numbers you multiply together that would equal 6. Let's try it. All right, 1, it is a prime number. OK, so we can just kind of bring that down again one step farther. And then we have 6. We can break that down. Um, we could do 2 times 3. 
that definitely equals 6. And it just happens to be that 2 and 3 are also prime numbers. So again, at the base of the tree, you've got your prime factor presence down there. Check that out. Okay, 1, 2, 3. Uh, okay, the, the prime numbers are, are holding up the tree. You can think of it that way. So you've got like a prime factor forest. <laughs> and then um, let's try the second number, 42. Well, I know that 42 is an even number, so because it ends uh, with a, either a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, in this case it is 2, so it, it's an even number. So let's we'll multiply 2 times, well, what would half of 42 be? Well, you're probably thinking 21. Well, good for you. But basically, you could pick any two factors for 42 to start with. So let's just start with 2 and 21. You could start with 6 and 7, for example, but here we go. 2, as we've seen before, is a prime number. So we'll just rewrite that at the base or the next level down. And now we'll see what other factors we can come up with for 21 now. So 21, well, I'm thinking 3 times 7. If you're thinking that, good for you. And now we can do that factor or prime number check. 2 is prime. 3? Yes, that's prime. 7? Only factors are 1 and 7, so yep, that must be prime as well. So there we go. We are done with this tree. The base of the tree, again, holding up that tree, or it's, it's con it consists of all prime numbers. So here we go. Let's do the comparison. All right. One, well, we really don't have a match for that over there, so we'll kind of skip over that one. Now we've got two. Do I see a match over here? Oh, I do right there at the base of the tree for 42. It is a prime factor of 42. So we've got two as a common prime factor. Okay, now we'll take a look at three over here, and we do have a match for that over here. And we have th we'll just write three here. We'll multiply those two together probably jumping ahead of me right now and thinking that 6 would be the product of those two. Right, 2 times 3 equals 6. Good. And there you go. You've got your GCF. And your GCF equals 6. So your greatest common factor of 6 and 42 would be 6. All right, let's try number 3. Number 3, we've got 12. And we have 28. Let's find the factors, the prime factors of these. We'll start with 12. Okay, I'm thinking, well, I know that 3 times 4 equals 12. And again, you could start with 2 and 6 and break it down from there. But right off the bat, this first one that popped into my head, we've got 3 times 4 equals 12. And we've got 3 as a prime number. 2, we could... I'm sorry, 4 we could break down, and I'm thinking 2 times 2 equals 4. And at the base of our tree, we have all prime numbers, don't we? There they are. Okay, so now we've got 28. I'm thinking that is an even number, or we could think of it as... Well, let's try it this way. We've got 4 times 7. We'll pick those factors. 4 times 7 equals 28. But are these both prime numbers. Well, 4, certainly not. We could break that down even further, um, just like we did over here. 2 times 2 equals 4, and now those are both prime, and 7 is already prime. So now we can go through and match up. Do we, we have a 3 over here? Do we have a match at the base of this tree? No, we don't. Um, 2? Yes, you're probably thinking, yes, we do. That's right. So we have two. And then another two we have. We have one on this side for 12 and another over here. Look at that. And we could go two times two. That's a basic fact. So you're probably thinking four. Good. And then that's it's as simple as that. Your GCF equals four. There it is. Okay, and let's move on to the last problem, problem number four. We've got the numbers 12 
and 36 we're dealing with. We'll break down 12 first. Uh, 12, we've got, we'll try a 2 times 6 this time. Uh, 2 is already prime. So now we'll just work on that 6. And you might be thinking 2 times 3 is 6. Good. Again, there's your your prime prime number base for your 12 tree. And now we'll move on to 36. Let's try a different approach for 36 here. Let's go with, uh, let's see, how about 4 times 9? All right, so let's Let's break that down even farther because both neither of these are prime numbers. We have two times two equals four. Now those are prime. And let's look at breaking down this nine. What what two factors can we multiply together to equal nine? And I'm thinking three times three. That would equal nine. And now the base or the that's holding up this tree are the it consists of all prime numbers again. So now let's go through and match up what we have. I see a 2 on this side matching up with a 2 over here. So let's write that down. We've got that 1, or that 2 that is the same. And now we've got a 2 over on this side and matches up with another 2 over here. And look at that. We have a 3 left over here. And look at that. There's a matching 3 on the other side under 36. So now you've got three numbers. Hmm, what do you do? Well, guess what? We will multiply once again. And if you have three factors, you just multiply them left to right, just like order of operations. And that's how we proceed through these things in math. So here we go. Two times two is four. And four times three equals 12. And there you go. Your GCF for 12 and 36 are your greatest common factor using the prime factorization method. Some people call them prime factor trees. That's fine too. But nonetheless, your GCF equals 12. And there you have it. GCF equals 12. That was a quick look at finding the greatest common factor using the prime factorization method. Thanks for checking out worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com, and we will see you again next time.